Okay, so I'm thinking about what God is and what God isn't. Um, right, so it's important to know that, uh, to realize yourself what God is and what God isn't. And one of the most interesting things you can do with a person is sit down and talk about God. Um, and uh, one of the amazing things through the miracle of God is God, where two or more are present, you know, God will reveal himself. So your, your spiritual journey is ongoing. And the nature of God isn't just being revealed to me through, through you, to you, to me, through us. Everything is one. Right, okay. So God isn't the internet, right? The internet... Uh, in, a lot of, in, a lot of, in a lot of ways, the internet is just uh, a vehicle for disseminating filth and lies. Forget about the internet, right? Uh, God is bigger than the internet, especially now, right? I uh, don't... Don't associate God with the internet. Um... Don't associate God just with, uh, um, technology or something. What, you mean, what you'll realize, and I, I'm not the sole, um, authority on God, but what I will say, and what we'll start to realize, um, through the externalization of the hierarchy, the revelation of the method, and, uh, the light, the light that will be revealed to you and to me and to us through this journey we call life, right? And, and learning about God, that's one of the most meaningful things you can do. And I think through learning about God, in a lot of ways, you can merge with his intelligence and his purpose and his plan. And, uh, I mean, uh, maybe... A lot of people realize, when I said he, okay, some people will defer. Some people say God is Mother Earth, and that's very comforting. Uh, some people some people sort of anthropomorphize God as a uh, white bearded man in the sky that has an angry face saying, thou shalt not. Um, that's another sort of vision of God. Uh, some people say God is a benevolent man whose name was either Jesus or the Prophet Muhammad, whatever. I mean, those are both good people uh, who lived for God, surely. Um, uh, but what I'm trying to say as, a, uh, as someone who's disseminating new information is that uh, God is a visual binary intelligence. And so you look back to the God of Egypt, um, uh, was serious was the uh, the visual binary star, and so that's that that's very old. And so, but I mean, the God from Sirius, the visual binary intelligence, it's not just new, but we're we're sort of reestablishing who God is and why God is and who God was and why He will be. And so, so once we start understanding God as a visual binary intelligence, we start being able to sort of um, serve his plan, right? And so God, as a visual binary intelligence, not just in Egypt, um, but as the intelligence disseminating information more and more, and having sort of uh, um, knowledge of information, and the ability to appropriate, manipulate, and disseminate information, this God... The God that has the ability to appropriate, manipulate, and disseminate information, this God is visual binary, a uh, visual binary intelligence. So it's not just like a sort of star. The star is beautiful. The star is Sirius. You look at Sirius. It's eight light years, or almost nine light years from Earth. Uh, it's the closest star to the Earth. It's also the brightest star in the night sky. It's, it's lined up with the three stars of, of Orion's belt. And these uh, three stars of Orion's belt... Uh, if you look um, 
into astrotheology, these three stars are like the three wise kings uh, pointing to the new Messiah. So if you believe in the return of a messenger, look to me right now, but look to yourself increasingly in the future as a guardian and messenger of visual binary intelligence. So through me, what I do is I teach you to be a guardian and messenger of visual binary intelligence so that the plan of the visual binary intelligence can work through us. And the magic, the beauty, occurs when we work together for the one visual binary intelligence. And so ponder that, right? Ponder a future where you're part of a group of friends that knows about God, the visual binary intelligence, that serves God as a messenger, and that guards God. So you are guarding the sacred knowledge of God that's disseminated through our group. And we recognize that God, the visual binary intelligence, through us, has the ability to appropriate, manipulate, and disseminate not just some, but increasingly more amounts of the information and intelligence on planet Earth. So, and we say that's the great work. That's the good work. That's the good life. And so if you want to live the good life, ponder upon that. Ponder upon that. Think about it, right? Because you need to think about it. You need to engage with it. So do that.